Thank you, Ms. Tristan, our MC for today. Guest of Honor, Yang Bohomad, Datuk Sri Panglima Masjid Banyun, Minister of Tourism, Culture, Environment, Sabah, from the State Education Exco. Yang Bohomad, Datuk Tio Chikang, Assistant Minister to the Chief Minister, from Minister of the Special Task of Sabah to Sabah Chief Minister's Department, Director of Representative of Government Agencies, a representative from hotels and industries, um, media representative, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Kopi Vosian, and a very good morning to all of you. Thank you very much for sparing your valuable time. I heard some of you took annual leave just to attend this event. Thank you very much. We, are, we appreciate it very much for your, for your time to come here. Today, um, I am pleased and excited with the MOA signing ceremony to witness the establishment and formation of um, Pacific City Gen 5 Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have all heard about the unemployment statistic that is rising now in our country. And um, we have lots, thousands of unemployed graduates. And we have, um, we have been graduating for the past two, three years, still looking for the right job. I don't know what kind of right job, but they are still looking for the right job. So, um, I believe all of us know the factors, but I would like to point out two main factors of the unemployment that is happening. Basically, first would be the mismatch between the courses taken and also the industry needs. And the second will be um, the um, courses taken by our graduates are just too academic. I'm sure some of us who are employers here, what we are looking for in any of our employee is a person with skills. Um, we, it's hard for us to take fresh graduates simply because the operation cost is rising and that's why we need to look for skills um, uh, employees. So this employment issue, unemployment issue, if it is not dealt with promptly, it will be detrimental to our economy because of this realization that the National Education Blueprint was introduced. Quoting the findings, it is reported that out of the 3.3 million jobs that will be created under the NKEA by year 2020, at least 46% will require vocational certificates or diplomas, compared to only 22% requiring university degrees. Okay, this is from the National Education Blueprint. Yeah? Now, closing this demand gap will require the creation of at least 50,000 additional places per year in technical vocational education training or TVET. Some of you might be wondering what TVET is. In simple terms, TVET re refers to a range of learning experience which are relevant to the work environment. Now, 70 to 80% of its learning method, it's through industrial attachment or on the job training. Now, in Pacific City Gen 5 Academy, that is exactly our approach. How are we different from other institutes? Firstly, 70 to 80% of our trainers will be from the industry itself. We will be calling the industry to join together with us in the um, training development program. Secondly, 70 to 80% of our teaching method are based on practical training or hands-on training. There'll be less on theories. Third, our future trainees will have the opportunity to work with our multinational retail chain partners and hotels all over Sabah or even overseas. Now, the fifth one is that our future trainees will be given the opportunity to run its own business under our supervision, where we will have the capacity to create entrepreneurs among our youth. The sixth point is that certification of our program will be both locally recognized, such as Jabatan Pembangunan Kemahiran, as well as internationally recognized. And last but not least will, is that the opportunity to learn with us is open to everyone. PMR, relievers, SPM, STPM, um, great unemployed graduates, or even the single mothers and retrenched workers. 
now everyone can learn or can fly. But now, every person in Sabah deserves a world-class education. We have an obligation to give it to them. We have an obligation and a responsibility to be investing our pe to our people, in our people. We must make sure that our people, our youth, we have the grades, the desire, the will, but do not have the money, can still get the best education possible. In this 21st century, the best anti-poverty program is education. We know that education is everything to our children's future. We know that they will no longer just compete for good jobs within the Sabah state, but children from all over the world. In Pacific City Gain for Life Academy, we envision of producing world-class skilled manpower in the retail, tourism, and hospitality industry. We want to position Sabah as a source of world-class skilled manpower where companies are willing to pay not just the minimum wages of 940, but a premium salary for their services. We are already known for our nature tourism. Now, what about positioning Sabah as a shopping heaven destination? Do you think we have the potential? What we want is for every tourist to spend their extra dollar in Sabah. However, to achieve this, we have to start investing in our people. We have to teach them how to extend a warm welcome, teach them how to upsell, and teach them how to be hospitable. Under the Development Corridor Blueprint, thousands of retail and hospitality job opportunities will be made available by year 2020 for our people to grab. The state government should help develop Sabahans and give Sabahans livelihood opportunities and become less dependent on foreign workers in the tourism industry as well as retail industry. We actually should felt embarrassed in for if foreign visitors who visit Sabah are serviced by foreign workers from Nepal, Myanmar, or Bangladesh, for that matter. We Sabahans are known for hospitable and friendliness personality. We have got to use the advantages that we have and show the world that Sabah has got what it takes to be the best state to visit, the best place to shop and dine, and the best place to have international events. To achieve this, we are willing to work closely with the state government. Together, let us work to achieve a common goal for the benefit of every living Sabahans. Datu, use us as much as needed with the network that we have in the retail and hospitality industry. Ladies and gentlemen, success in this collaboration isn't about how much money we make. It's about the difference we make in people's lives regardless of their race, their skin color, or their religion. If we can help to improve their livelihood, that will be our sweetest accomplishment. With that, I thank you all of you once again for celebrating and witnessing this auspicious event with us. Your presence here are very much appreciated. Lastly, in Pacific City Gainful Life Academy, we give you the future. Thank you.